I think I, I always have hope for a better tomorrow. And that's literally it. I'm still breathing, so I'm going to come back again. So I think, um, I think, you know, it's life is, I think it's about just being relentless. If you're relentless, then you'll be fine. Awesome. So uh, I, I, I can't tell you how delighted I am, KG, to have you here on our podcast. I think uh, it's been at least 20 odd months we have been discussing about doing a podcast together. So finally it's happening. I'm delighted. And uh, the best thing about the podcast is conversations and coffee. Both are here. So exactly. Here's my coffee here. Yeah. So Just letting it cool off. Cheers. Cheers. So that's how we start every podcast now. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that sets the tone. When it comes to you, KG, I, I, I don't think I, I need to write anything. I don't need to prepare anything. I just know KG is there and we're just going to roll, you know. The conversations may sway to different topics. Might get a little boring for some people. <laughs> Deep conversations. Yeah. But yeah, we'll still, irrespective, see how it goes. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's not the usual glitz and glam, right? Yeah, but I think um, we've got a pretty good topic list going on in, in this episode. So I'm excited to get into it. I'm excited for you guys to hear as well. Absolutely. And uh, I mean, uh, we, we should begin with the most popular topic. When they see you, they'll talk about cricket. Yes. Right. So we'll, we'll start a bit of cricket, but we'll not talk too much about what happens on field. Yes. We'll do, we'll do one thing, KG. We'll, we'll start with Delhi Capitals. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's special. Yeah. I think 2017, 16, when did you begin your journey? Around that time? 20, it was 2017. Right. Yeah, that's when I had my first uh, my first year of IPL with uh, Rahul Dravid and Paddy Upton. Wow. And 2018, I remember, was my first year with Delhi Capitals. Yes. And unfortunately, I couldn't see you that year. Yeah, I just came off uh, an Australian test series and I had a stress reaction in my lower L5 and it was going to be uh, risky if I came to IPL because it could develop into a stress fracture. So what happened that at that time I just uh, decided to take rest um, and not aggravate the injury. Otherwise, I, who knows, I could have had uh, more issues with that problem. I haven't had any problems with it ever since Touchwood, but yeah. Yes, absolutely. And you came back in 2019, KG. I, I, I remember. I also remember the first coffee we had together. You wouldn't probably remember this. It was when we were... Tra- it was a traveling IPL, okay? We were at Taj, if I'm not wrong, Kolkata, by the pool. And that's when we sipped the coffee. You went in with the speaker to the side of the pool and you were kind of relaxing over there. Yeah, no, see, that's that's taking it a, a while back. Yeah. Yeah, that's, those are the days when, you know, you didn't have restriction times of, of when you could go to a pool. And I would, I would always uh, like to spend some alone time um, at the pool. Um, in Kolkata, were you there? Because, I, I, you know, I always saw Mohammed Kaif. He was always in the pool. Yes, swimming. he was there. Was and, he there? And, and you were there. Harshal was also there. Harshal had his hand bandaged, I believe. Oh, yes, yeah. You know, it's funny, funny thing with Harshal because I was also, you know, sitting next to him on the bus as well. So you and him were, were mates back in, the, uh, yes. in that year as well. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's quite cool how things, you know, just come together because um, uh, I, I, I sat, I, I had a seat uh, on, on, on my own in front, on front right-hand side. And then I was just sitting there and then, I was like, okay, I hope no one comes and sit next to me because then I can have two seats to myself. Yeah. And with the Indian traffic, sometimes it can take a while to get to the, the airport or the ground. So I was like, two seats would be great. Yeah. And then I saw Harshal give, give it one of these. Like, <laughs> and I was like, here we go. <laughs> so then he sat down and then like, uh, I, was, I was chilled with it. You know, it's not like I was ext- upset. Uh, it's just like oh, I don't get two seats to myself, but mm. that's when uh, we started becoming familiar with each other and like um, 
okay, not familiar. That sounded a bit wrong. But um, got we got to know each other. We got to know each other. I got to know each other. So yeah, that was cool. But yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't. I don't quite remember the time I had coffee with you in Kolkata. Yeah. But I do remember seeing you in the pool area. Yeah, I, I I have probably I may have that video somewhere. You had posted a story doing fist bumps. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Sure. I don't oh, have sure. a bad memory, KG. <laughs> And feast bumps. Oh man, you saw the future. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Yeah. So what's happening uh, in 2022, guys? If you want to know, watch my Insta stories. <laughs> so uh, KG, uh, coming coming to a lot of things which I'm quite curious about. I mean, I I don't want to make this whole thing like an interview, but I I definitely want to kind of address my curiosity a bit by asking you a few questions kg sure uh th- there's a word called adapt right as humans we evolve we adapt to things situations mm. atmosphere everything we, we have evolved yeah similarly as a cricketer mm. ev- evolving or adapting whatever word you want to use that that's one constant right you yes. you travel to different countries you play on different surfaces in different kind of weather conditions to i mean a variety of batsmen you're bowling to there's mm. there's so much adaptation or evolution that goes in along your journey right so can you talk about that how do you look at this yeah obviously cricket is a game that uh, involves a whole lot of variables um and as a cricketer you o- you are already forced to adapt to those variables because certain types of strategies work in certain types of conditions and in order to be successful you need to know how to play in different conditions um, uh, when you play in England you, you want to bowl different lengths when you play in Australia you want to bowl different lengths other places are similar for instance South Africa and Australia they're similar then obviously you get the subcontinent where most places are quite similar and you you have different tactics and you have bowled different lines it's cricket 101 really cricket 101 where the challenge comes in is you as a player how well you are going to apply those basics because actually um, the best players all that they do is perform the basics really well and they perform them um, day in day out and they make it look extremely easy. Um, think of Sachin Tendulkar playing a cover drive. He makes it look extremely easy. Or Brian Lara playing a flick shot. Or Ricky Ponting playing a pickup pool. Yeah. They make it look extremely easy, but <laughs> actually doing it, I mean, it's a basic, but it's not extremely easy. So it takes practice um, and it takes a purposeful practice. Um, when it comes to uh, the conditions that you're playing in, and also just literally the basics of cricket. It comes down to practice and nailing your execution of your different skills. And then when it comes to different conditions, um, that's when you just have to adapt. Nowadays in T20 cricket, you have batsmen you know, playing different shots, bowlers bowling different balls, new and innovative fields coming about and that just happens naturally and that's just someone who's got a a player needs to i believe a player needs to have their own uh, innate feel about how the game how they read the game because that's very important otherwise you just become a robot and you don't really let your talent come through so i think it's important to let your talent come through where you do take the science of the game and you apply it but at the same time, you need to uh, allow for your artistic flair to come in. Wow, that's quite interesting, Kiji. Yeah. Just, just again, like out of curiosity, imagine you are playing a test match, okay? And uh, let's take you away from home conditions. You are playing a test match in Dubai, okay? And uh, the match has ended, a five-day test match has ended. There are just two days in between and you have to play a T20 game. So how does it work? 
like it it works in here because you don't have much time to do any kind of preparation in between right <clears throat> well you know when it comes to to game day it's game day and that's where you have to really uh literally just rock up you have to rock up and you have to trust that you 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 going to find a way there's <laughs> i don't know how many times i've actually felt magnificent before i play ever whether i practice some days i feel really good when i don't haven't practiced much yeah. some days i still don't feel good but i've practiced a lot but when it comes to game day it's all about finding a way but yeah it's, it's something that you don't really need to overthink sometimes uh, a lot of players i guess would would be guilty of overthinking right um because you know all of us we just want to be so so perfect and uh, we overthink a lot of things but um it's just about finding a way on the day and and literally just work, focusing on the process yeah i think that's what also separates uh the best from the rest wow. they always find a way wow process is one word i hear a lot these days you know earlier it was intent now it's process <laughs> Okay uh KG let's move on to another topic which which is quite close to my heart because I feel if cricket wouldn't have been there I wouldn't have this opportunity to sit across the table with you and have this wonderful conversation you you have been part of several teams including the South African team and you have had a lot of uh rivals as your friends right off the field all of you guys are friends so what kind of relationships have you formed over the years um we formed really great uh, relationships the nice thing about all these t20 leagues is that uh you get to play against uh, some of your rivals um and when normally on the field you'd hate each other now you're playing together it's like yeah. it's a bit weird actually <laughs> when as soon as messi left for psg obviously sergio ramos went uh you know a few like a couple <laughs> months before him but i saw them in the gym and as as messi arrived in yeah. the psg gym and they they greeted each other yeah. but then they both played for the two biggest clubs arguably in the world okay. um and the, the the probably the biggest um uh the biggest rivalry game in the so, world which is the el, the el, el clasico. clasico and i mean there's some clips where ramos is, was kicking messi like literally kicking him and there's no ball or like pushing him or you yeah. know the antics that they throw and how the crowd just hates the opposing team and the opposing player but now they're playing together yeah. so they're going to you know know more about each other and i don't know maybe they'll be friends right. but that's a lot of things to put aside wow. <laughs> so that's how it, that's how it is um now in 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 the cricket scene and yeah you get to you get to make i guess uh like you get to know the person behind the cricket. Right. That's what it does, yeah. But it it still doesn't take away the competitiveness when you do play against each other, but you get to know the guy. So you you're kind of completely tuned into this process of switching on and off, right? When when it's game time, I don't care who you are, right? You're my rival. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like at the, I'm only competitive when it comes to cricket. I mean it's cricket. I don't uh, physically hate someone. You know, I don't think a lot of people physically hate people hate right. the, the other player. Yeah. Or maybe some players do. I only may not speak for other players. <laughs> but on the field I'm going to play hard. That's, right. That's the way I know how to play. But off the field I mean I'm pretty easy going. And um I think I can separate those two. I think I can. Wow. I think eventually everyone learns to, right? Because we have seen so much of banter on the field. People are really about to throw the kitchen sink at each other. And the moment match gets over there's all smiles hugging each other and I mean people wonder like what just happened, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean there are people who hold grudges. There are some people who don't. There's some people who smile about it like hey remember when you gave me a send off or remember when you abused me but it's like oh it's okay it's it's cool you laugh it off right but some people it might be a bit awkward 
like just you see each other in the lift uh, and it's just like uh, <laughs> for some people it's like some people hold grudges I don't know who they are All right. so I guess it's different for, for different people, people. but um, yeah I think the competitiveness is still there it's like yeah. So maybe yeah definitely still okay. there so let's not judge them <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah uh, so KG uh, there's, there's also a lot going on in your life beyond cricket and uh, we spoke about it last time also it's about the ventures you are into the kind of content you are creating I often see you on your zoom calls so so what's cooking um yeah, back home you you do the the normal you know the, the normal business venture. You know, people would look into property and they look into investing. Um, but some of the more creative um, projects that I've been up to, which I love to do, I just love being creative, and uh, that was uh, in production, and we <coughs> formed a. A company called Kingdom Come with a friend of mine who I went to school with and actually during the IPL in 2020 um, uh, we shot a short film um, having planned it yet like that whole year on how we're gonna shoot it and getting funding and all um, and it's called Beast and then it actually made it into LA Shorts Film Festival yeah, so I started with a mate of mine. His name is Cameron Scott, and he's he's actually in LA right now. Um, I was gonna go there, but it was a bit uh, complicated uh, before I went to Sri Lanka. <coughs> yeah, so that and there's some some fun projects, other projects that I'm I'm doing back home with that, um, and then um, I formed my own. Um, uh, sports and entertainment management company wow. and yeah that's been really fun um, I went into that as a co-owner and yeah, it's nice to have a say in your own company um, and looking to build build on in the next you know several years tens of years and um I'm sure people have seen recently the joint venture with JSW with the representation yes. in India. So that's really awesome news. Um, at the end of the day, you know, cricket is still my number one. But everything else is just, I'm really glad, blessed to, to have what I, to have been given the opportunities of that magnitude. And to actually be a part of them. To actually be grafting on it. Right. And not just being a name right that's what i like about about it um i've got a life outside of cricket absolutely and and i've seen you you get involved you 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 don't want to be a spectator yeah. right yeah i just think cricket is a lot a large part of my life and i love cricket i love sport but it's not my whole life right yeah kg talking about business ventures did you ever think that maybe sometime later I'll try to be a commentator or a voiceover artist? Um, I actually thought about commentating. I actually think, hopefully, yeah, if, if people see me fit, I don't think I would do it as a, as a main job, hopefully, if all goes well. Um, but I would like to do stints here and there. I think it would be great. And I'd, lo I'd love to give back to the game. Um, already pl I'm planning a bowling academy back home. Wow. So, yeah, I can't wait to actually let everyone know about that. That's going to be really cool. Um, updates will come up shortly. But I'd love to give back to the game. Wow. Definitely. I'll tell you something, you know. Uh, a lot of us, including the people who are sitting around right now, you hear stories about someone is someone's fan, right? Each one sitting here is a fan of your voice. <laughs> so all of us appreciate the way you talk, the tone you have got, and all of us feel like, why not take KG to do some match previews, the audio bit, you know? 
Well, I haven't uh, thought of it in that way because I'm always thinking of how I'm going to perform at my best that I can to, to put in a performance that we can win. So literally that's what's on my head most of the time. That's, Literally, <laughs> that's a nice thing. But we yeah, yeah. we may kind of get something out of you. Yeah, sure. Give me a job. <laughs> <laughs> I could do with some extra cash. Absolutely, KG. You you remember? I need that? to pay for these coffees. They're getting quite expensive. The beans. Yeah. <laughs> so KG, you remember the other day we we got an audio done from you. We're just having fun. EA Sports. Yes. It's in the game. How did that go? Well, you tell me. It's, it's going to be out soon. So everyone who's watching, very soon you'll get to hear. We don't want to reveal it over here. But we'll post a video of KG saying EA Sports. It's in the game. Oh, so you're actually... You, oh, I didn't see you videoing it. You videoed it? Yeah. Sneaky warriors. Sneaky warriors here, guys. Yeah. Uh, guys, to everyone listening to this, th- this is not the only time KJ is going to be with us talking on this podcast. We're going to have him multiple times because I feel if someone can revive listening the game, it's you. I mean, we want to listen to you more. Okay. I mean, yeah. if you want to, sure. Absolutely. If you didn't want to, then I'd say, okay, as well. <laughs> but yes, if you want man. to, then cool. Okay, so so let's get into the last thing, and and it's about life. I mean, the conversations I've had with you, KG, have been uh, quite insightful. I've learned a lot from you about life, the way you think. Jeez, I'm only twenty six. Yeah, <laughs> I'm older than you, KG, and I've learned so much from you. Jeez. So it's not about the age, right? I think we learn from each other. Yeah, I mean, for example. Excuse me. Uh, Aka sitting here is like 36, but he still doesn't understand anything. I'm, I haven't learned a thing from him, you know. Can you show yourself? Reveal yourself. Yeah, we're going to put his picture. Reveal on. yourself. Take his picture. I mean, 36 years old and... Reveal yourself. Five, okay. <laughs> it doesn't make a good story, right? Yeah, when? I mean, being 26 doesn't make a good story. But, the, you know, they can't even see him. You have to reveal yourself. Reveal yourself. Come on, Akash. Come, come, come on the screen. Come. Just peek into this GoPro. Yeah. 36, guys. 36. Look at his hair. 36. <laughs> okay, KG. So, yeah. uh, getting back to it, KG. So, there's, there's so much I've learned for, from you. And one of the most important thing is how you detangle the thoughts. How you keep everything simple. I, I remember a conversation where I asked KG, you were on a great run, right? Purple cap. And uh, I mean, uh, you were in the run to win the purple cap that year. Unfortunate injury happened. I mean, you had to go back. Then the World Cup happened. Wasn't the best of the tournaments you had. You had such high expectations from yourselves. You came back and I'm like, KG, uh, how are you feeling about how the year has went by? And you're like, I'm still breathing. That's what matters, right? So, I mean, to say that, how, how do you manage to stay so calm? Sure. No, look, it's, it's, it is hard, though. Um, but I always try to look at the upside, the flip side. Yeah. Um, no matter how bad of a day that I have, whether, you know, I get hit around on the field, uh, I will be quite upset, but uh, I think... I always have hope for a better tomorrow. And that's literally it. I'm still breathing, so I'm going to come back again. So I think, um, I think, you know, it's life is, I think it's about just being relentless. If you're relentless, then you'll be fine. Because you, actually, when I started my career, I always heard, yeah, you know, it's not always going to be. A, a downhill you know you're gonna have to go uphill at times but then you don't really understand it you're like okay yeah that's just a cliche and I'll, I'll probably speak for most cricketers as well but there comes times when it doesn't go for you and it becomes really challenging because you become so used to being successful 
But then when it doesn't work for you, then it's like, man, what am I doing? And then you can tend to overthink and things are not going well for you and, you know, whatnot. But that's when you that's when you learn about yourself. That's when you learn about the game and you literally fighting for every inch that you can. But if you if you're not if you can't be relentless through those, then they're gonna get the better of you. As long as you come back the next day, you're still breathing and you come back relentless. And then through those uh, trials, that's what makes you a stronger individual. No matter who's trolling, no matter what people are saying about you, you're going to stand up the next day. That's important. Otherwise, you're just going to go away. You go away, the situation is the better of you. Wow. I I have so many of your one-liners in my head, you know. I remember having KG having a tough game. And right after the game, I'm seeing you in the dressing room and I'm like, KG, tough night. And your response is, but we won. That's all matters, right? So Yeah, it would have been much worse if we lost. <laughs> <laughs> but but, but it's, it's sort of calming, you know. Uh, I I've seen you when I talk to you it 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 just helps me understand life better it just kind of makes me declutter everything stay calm listen to you and follow mm. KG has said it come on well yeah i think it's about um always seeing the glass half full but always coming back if you're not going to come back you've already lost if you one day say one day i can say one day when i die i can say i did my the best that i could so i'm happy other than saying i didn't give my best wow yeah so yeah i think that that that's the cue to wind up tonight's podcast <laughs> that there's a lot we need to talk about and i'll rather leave some of the stuff for later rather than making this too long for our listeners mm. so i think yeah good discussion kg thank you Thanks always a you. pleasure can't wait to do the next one what are we calling this podcast by the way oh this is just the dc podcast we we next time we're talking it. about ponies <laughs> and unicorns just on the lighter side of things <laughs> yeah. yeah so i i hope people will tune into the next one unicorns ponies and the ufos you spotted you remember and the ufo's yeah, yeah, yeah it was i think uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the camera can't see it though yeah but we'll talk about it we'll right? talk about it yeah absolutely so <laughs> thank you everyone for tuning in this is kg and that's sumit thanks for tuning in we'll see you soon thanks <laughs> thanks kg awesome cheers